That's one of the benefits of living in New York. In the, in the summertime, you know, the fire hydrant, they always turn them on. So it's good to let your dog cool off. Drink the water from it. It's nice, fresh water. And, uh, you know, it's moving water. You know what I'm saying? It's not still, like a still puddle of water. So it's fine for them to drink from it. But that's the good thing about New York that I love for your dogs. Uh, when you're walking with them in the heat and it's hot and it's cold. I mean, cold. <laughs> when it's hot, they can cool off real quick. And then you have to keep it moving. Sometimes she lay right in it because, you know, they belly be really hot, dogs. That's why sometimes they'll lay on, like, uh, like tiles or whatever in your house because the tiles are a little cooler, so it's good for their belly. But you see she walking right with a, you know, with the water running. So it's cooling her off, cooling her feet off and all that. She's smart, though. She know how to cool herself off. That's for sure. And it's really hot today here in New York like really dry it was humid yesterday it was very humid yesterday and the day before was so humid man I couldn't tolerate it and um my central a ac i'm waiting for the repair guy and it happens to break on two of the most humid days that we had so far which was yesterday and the day before <laughs> ain't that a mud right hate that it's like it, it chose to break down on the worst day <laughs> but yeah um they say he coming the repair guy coming tomorrow to fix that so you know so i had a fan on her last night a small fan and you know thank god i ain't put my fans up and throw them out so like you know i've been trying to get rid of stuff so i was like yeah we don't need them fans man let's you know put them in the storage or give them away or something and my wife was like nah because you never know, we might need them. That's how she think. And you know what? She was right. So I had to give it to her. I was like, yo, I'm so glad you got, you got, um, you made us keep the fans. Boy, that car sound like shit. You hear that? That's a car, guys. Yo, look at this shit, bro. And crackheads, bro. Look at this area, bro. Like, what the fuck? Be scared to walk through here with my dog, man. Especially at night, It'd be mad rats, raccoons through here. Look at this fuck. Shit look like a third world, uh, world country right here, right? Shit, I don't even, nah, some areas in third world country be looking better than this shit. <sighs> Boy. Yeah, just that one area that look like that, it's crazy. You feel better, Phoenix? Oh, I hate cars that sound like that, bro. Yeah, so right now I'm just walking to my boy Pedro house so we can let uh, her play with Bear, the American Bulldog. Because um, she in heat, as y'all can see. And uh, she didn't take last time because I guess he was too young or something. I don't know. I don't know. But we're going to, you know, see if... They could breathe now that he's of age. Oh, y'all don't need to see all that. But yeah, so we're gonna see if they can breathe now. So, see what happens. So, I'll get back to y'all in a little bit.